trade Armstead and Kinlaw thoughts. Oh, I'm down. You know I'm down. I know you're I'm down. down. No, I, don't I know. am down. Where are you going to find that trade? Actually, I'm not an Armstead fan. I acknowledge that he has the ability to take over games. He has the ability to be better than DeForest Buckner, but he's inconsistent. He was great for three weeks in a row and needed to be in the NFC Championship game. Was he pacing himself? What the hell was that? Eric Armstead, what was that? I watched it. You had no statistics. I watched the the, the coaches film try to figure out what happened. I saw what happened. They doubled you and you were like, ooh, I'm this going to be tough. And you were just like, you know what? Not my week. I, Can't happen. Can't I want to know if they're permanently going to make that move and he's going to stay in the interior. Like, are they going to? Are they going to? I asked you asked me. So I, I asked um, D'Amico Ryan specifically for you, okay. and I was like, so D'Amico, it seems like you know Eric Armstead really found a home at defensive tackle the second half of the. Is that where he's going to be from now on? And he goes, well, you know, Ugh. he's a great defensive end too. Well. He's, and I think a big reason they kept him over to Forrest Buckner. Do you remember a few years ago? There were reports in training camp that the Niners are moving Buckner. They're experimenting with Buckner at defensive end. Remember that? Yeah. Remember that? I don't think he liked it. I think he wanted to play D-tackle. I think Armstead was more open to doing whatever the coaches freaking wanted, and I think they liked that. Oh, Armstead's versatile. No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> he's just – more willing to say yes because DeForest Buckner knows he's going to be the highest paid, one of the three highest paid defensive tackles in the league and doesn't have to do this. Arms is over here trying to prove himself because he got hurt and missed a lot of time and he's just here to say yes. So is he versatile? No, he's a defensive tackle who's good sometimes and totally invisible most of the time. So yeah, trade him and then trade Ken Law too to some team that thinks his knee's all right because it's not, most likely. That's uh, I, don't think, I don't think you'd find trade for those guys. Um, maybe if if uh, Kim Law has a year that's coming up here, you might be able to move him next year. Yeah, it's, it's irresponsible to trade for a guy who's coming off that season with surgery just had. I mean, you, you just wait and see. Yeah. Ken, hey, I mean, he can't even, it probably can't even pass a physical at this point. Kim Law is major Kentuan bomber energy. Trade him for a bag of chips. That's the kind. Nah, he's he is damaged goods and he's not going anywhere until he's, no, no, what he is is Jalen Hurd until further notice. Sorry. Further notice. I'm not saying he can't bounce back, but her didn't. 